Welcome back to Let's Play Thousand Arms. I checked into what I was talking about at the end of the last video, and surprisingly, I didn't see any specific information about this. However, I've, uh, I did see a couple things, though, not exactly related to what I was wondering. Like, basically, like, how did I learn the Geo spell when my, you know, my charisma is not matched up to uh, Savina's current intimacy? I've got a charisma of three, and her intimacy level is level five, so how did I learn a spell? I've got a hypothesis about that, but for now I'm just gonna move on and- because I'd like to do a little experimentation before I figure out what's, uh, before I try and say what I think is correct. Oh, also, before, before I move on... Actually, no. You know what? I'll cover that after we get through Fort Teev here, because... I'm gonna be perfectly honest, this is take two of this recording, because I ran out of things to talk about. The commentary just wasn't flowing for some reason, so leaving some things for me to talk about while we're going around on the world map might be a good idea. <laughs> for now, hey, it's Musa again! Mice, Sudina, you're both alright. I heard what happened to Jobble. Yeah, that kinda sucked. Don't get discouraged, Sodina. We were attacked during the invasion of Boysby. Only if I were there to help. Ah, damn those dark acolytes. I ain't gonna forgive them. I'll go with you guys. My strength is that of a hundred men. Yeah, you eat as much as a hundred men. Nah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna say... You sure are cool, Musa. And he looks all cool, posing. It's great to know you're coming with us, Musa. All right, so Dina, Musa, let's head to the sacred altar. <laughs> Poor Musa. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I just couldn't think of much to talk about when I was going around on the world map. I'm my, I'm again having a day where my mind, my brain, seems to not be functioning at, at, at full capacity. So that might have something to do with it. I don't know why I'm having so many of these days in a row lately. That's kind of troubling, but. In any case, this guy is saying, if this fortress falls, all hope will be lost. We have to be cautious. And I apparently opened that door while standing sideways, not facing it. Okay, I was gonna talk to that guard, but whatever. Don't get depressed. The people of Boysby haven't lost hope yet. Oh, I wonder if any of the people of Boysby are here. I should check out the barracks, actually. I didn't do that in the, fa in the uh, recording I just scrapped. Now, uh, here we are at the forge, though, because I want to forge Musa's weapon. Yeah, intimacy is five, and I know Mice's charisma is only three. But here's the thing. Uh, first of all, Musa's sword is actually already up to speed, basically, so... I'm not much to worry about with that. I'll go ahead and raise Sodina's weapon one level up, since I can, too. Oh, yeah. So we're not at the Sacred Forge anymore, but despite that, yeah, still learning the Geo spell. That's rather interesting, isn't it? Still, I'll get more into hypo to the hypothesis later. And by the way, I found out I can press the X button during that little hammering animation to just kind of skip it. So that's kind of a nice thing to be able to do uh, when you're forging like all your weapons at one in one sitting or something. Anyway, before we head out, why don't we take a quick little look around. Maybe not the whole fortress, but look in at least a couple rooms and see if there's non-soldiers around. It doesn't look like it, actually. The Dark Acolytes attacked us the same time they attacked Boysby. We could only defend ourselves. Or, we could only defend ourselves, rather, as opposed to, you know, coming to Boysby's aid, I guess. I better clean up the room and prepare for the next... something. Prepare for the next battle? Prepare for the next date? I don't know. Let's go up here because we can. I don't think there's actually going to be other people here, though. I don't know if I want to talk to everyone again, but... The rebuilding of Boysby is also our responsibility. Yeah, you should help out with that. The Dark Acolytes are probably attacking someone else right now. You're probably right, and on that note... Why don't we just move on? 
We don't have time to be wasted on this kind of stuff. Even though I'm going to be wasting a lot of time on dating and crap later. Details. It'll take a while to rebuild Boysby. Duly noted. It's going to be really dangerous from here on. Please be careful. Thanks, you guys take care too. You can overcome any obstacle when you work together with friends. Yep, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Now, let's head out. But... But meanwhile... At the Emperor's base... Still haven't heard the name of it. That girl's all heart, heart, heart over Schmidt. <laughs> I'm glad you came. You are dark master. A spirit blacksmith with the power of darkness. Too bad Schmidt wasn't paying her any attention. Yes, sir. In order for us to rule the world, we need the power of the light. Your father and grandfather were both talented spirit blacksmiths. My father. I know you can use the power of the light. Why are you giving an order to a stupid human? Are we not capable? Give me the order! Dark Master, you have the power of both the light and darkness. And then he just keeps talking to Schmidt. I love that. It's just like the flames blowing up behind him was pretty much his way of just saying, like, shut up. You're annoying. I know you can do this. Bolt, I command you to help him. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Okay, I will do my best. <laughs> Bolt is an interesting one. Baring is still pissed. So that is the Dark Master. Well, it looks like Schmidt really has fully gone over to the dark side at this point. And he's going by the nickname of the Dark Master, because it's ominous and stuff. Now, uh... Oh, man. It's like... I think part of the problem I'm having is it's like... It's a number of things I want to talk about, and I can't think of which one to... All the thoughts are just kind of going around in my head, and I can't latch on to any particular thought, and I'm just like, oh god. Um... Words. Oh uh, boy. Well, what direction to go in? I'm not sure where exactly I'm supposed to go. I know, you know, we're looking for a town, but I don't know what direction it's in. I know it's like... By the sea, somewhere. I suppose we'll just go along till we find something. But in the meantime, battle! Oh, hey, a new enemy. A Knight Lancer. Looks pretty cool. Go ahead and defend. And I'm gonna keep defending because he's doing his special. His special is faster than my attack. And his special hurts, as you can tell. That's with 16 damage while blocking. And, dude, like, freaking rocket-powered lance, what the heck. Aw, I got a critical before... The, the Night Lancer actually has a, uh... Is... He's one of the enemies whose appearances change when you get him low on HP. And it's kind of interesting, but I'm sure we'll get the opportunity to see that again, uh, to see that in a bit here. 
Oh uh, yeah, so what, 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 uh, the first thing that I, like, I failed to mention it before because I figured I could have it to say during these battles and on the world map and everything. Let's see what enemies we get first. Pride armor? Interesting. I didn't see this guy last time. He's new. And he's doing something. What is he doing? He's probably using a buff or something. Dude, I didn't notice that guy's awesome mustache. That he's just sitting there twirling to raise his attack power. That's amazing. And then we've got this dark hammer gear man, who was the friggin' boss of the last area. <laughs> so yeah, that's Musa's taunt. Uh, yeah, by the way, like, b thus far actually, we have not fought any genuine bosses. They've all just kind of been sort of min mini bosses at best, as evidenced by the fact that like, we, that's like twice now we've had where we fight the, the, like, the enemy at the very end of a dungeon, and then in the very next area we go to, they're just a regular dude. Like, I know RPGs do that kind of thing sometimes, but not quite to that extent. Like, you may have an enemy who once was a boss appear as a regular enemy later in the game, and Musa's <laughs> shaking his butt the enemy again. You may have, uh... What once was a boss appear as a normal enemy later in the game, but that's later. Right now we're talking about, like, the sort of boss of an area appearing as a normal enemy in the very next area. Real bosses don't do that. So yeah, we actually have not fought a genuine boss yet. I mean, as you noticed, we've only heard the same normal battle theme throughout all the battles we've fought, and there is actually, just so you know, just so you know, there is a boss theme in this game. So, I think we'll get to hear that sometime soon. For now, it looks like we've got to the town. Not quite. Well, we're close to it, but... Hey, mice, look! It's so beautiful here! I've never seen such a beautiful place before. This is my first time outside of Boysby. Well, this could end up having a silver lining of being a good experience for Sodina. You know, getting out and seeing the world. Were you and Jabal born in Boysby? I'm not sure. All I know is that since I was little, it's always been just Jabal and me. If it's one thing that I learned back home, good timing is important for two things. Oh my. Dealing with enemies and impressing women. I will get here by being gallant. So Dina, I will protect you from now on. I'll take over Jabal's responsibility, so don't worry and just follow me. Thank you, Mice. It's very nice of you to say that. <laughs> I guess you didn't need my advice after all. Honesty is good when it comes to women, huh? Honesty is usually good in general. Well, anyway, let's go to the city over there, mice. Pointing dramatically. Musa in a Phoenix Wright game? That would be interesting. I should probably mention the first thing I skipped over saying before, before I just completely forget. Back at uh, Jobble's place that night, when, uh, you know, at, when we, like, after we had just met Schmidt for the first time, and uh, Sodina was asleep in bed, we talked to her. I, I apparently missed some dialogue. I found this out when I was trying to look into stuff about forging. And uh, if you talk to her a second time, the conversation continues, so the full conversation would be thus. Mice, I want... Wh what I want my stuffed animal. Oh. So, I thought I should clear that up, because it's kind of amusing. Welcome to the city of Hatoba! Well, we've gotten where we wanted it, where we were trying to go. It's a chicken! Can I talk to the chicken? I want to talk to the chicken. 
I can't talk to the chicken. Sad day. Well, let's see what's in this house anyway. Hello, girly. With pigtails. It's so beautiful when the sun sets over the ocean. That it is. Hey, I found elemental spirit in the cooking pot. 38 MP ain't bad either. And I found more in the bed. This might be worth looking around from here on. It might be a little worth lo looking around a bit, actually. Because I'm starting to run low on MP. Too bad I can't go on dates like you do. How did you know that I go on dates? Like, what? Oh well. No elemental spirit in those barrels. I guess we'll just head farther into town. Oh yeah. Let's see, there's someone I want to talk to. Hatoba is the town of shipmasters. There used to be many who could imbue spirits into sails and rudders. Nowadays, the only people who can do those things are from that town behind the closed gate. Behind the closed gate. Uh, let's check out this house, why not? Just waste all the time in this video. <laughs> Probably not going to get much done in this video. The dark acolytes appear in this area from time to time. Well, that's not good. No elemental spirit in here. I wonder if the dark acolytes are around right now. They probably are if there's a sacred altar nearby, although I don't, although I don't know if there is actually one super nearby. Let's see, we've got a hotel here, although I don't really need... Actually, uh, I could use that. Because I still haven't rested at an, at an inn since Lucent Cave, and my still does not have a charge of Aquoon, so let's go ahead and rest up. Hello, what can I do for you? Because the sea is so beautiful, many tourists come here on vacation. That's nice. Let's check in. That'll be 30 GG. You'll notice the rate keeps going up. Please enjoy your stay. It's basically 10 GG per party member you have, as far as I can tell. Good morning. Nah, I don't need to save just yet. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Please come again. And we'll see if I come again or not. I don't know if I I don't know if I liked the service. Because there is a black screen and I didn't see anything. Man, this neighborhood has gone to hell. What's going on around here? Wow, really? What's going on at the bar? Oh wait, I think this is where I want to be actually. Let me go. I know there's I'm not sure, there's, there's something I, when I was poking around on the, in the guide, there was something I read about the very next area we, we were coming up to here. There's someone around, aha! I don't know if you have to talk to her or not, but I want to. This is another, uh, not, never mind. You're cute! Do you want to play with me? Um... Sure. Do you like girls? Uh, yeah. Kinda. Of course. Then would you do anything for a girl? Hmm, of course. You're pretty good. <laughs> that was fun, thanks. You can have this. See you later. Okay then. Thanks? What was that all about? I can have what? Anyway, did what did what did I get? Did I get something? Um I have no idea if I actually got anything new. I, I don't know what it is. That's weird. Not sure what's up with that bit of dialogue there, but still, uh it's interesting to talk to her there, real quick. There's supposed to be ancient ruins on the volcanic island off the coast. I wonder what it's like. Ah, I couldn't see what that sign said, because it was too high up, but this is just the regular shop. I don't know if I want to bother here right now, but I might as well see what they have. What do you got? You got potions, you got high potions, ooh. Elixirs. Uh, maybe... Maybe buy... I have a lot of antidotes, so I don't need more of those, really. Buy a couple more elixirs, and... Thanks, come back again, alright, yeah. Sure thing. In fact, I'll come back right now, because I didn't mean to leave. I've got 11 potions, so that's pretty good. 
I will buy a couple high potions and leave it at that. Thanks! Come back again, alright? I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably not gonna be coming back to this this specific shop, but... Because I'm gonna save my money, but... Still, thanks for the nice items that I did buy from you. Yeah, man, I'm probably gonna have to stop this video soon. First off, though, we've got stuff here. Hey, dude, what's happening? Uh... Yeah, just trying to save the world. How about you? Lighten up, kid. You gotta enjoy life. <laughs> I'm drunk. What would you like? Milk? I don't know. Hi, can I take your order? So I guess there's nothing to do here yet. I do recall having to do something there later. Actually, maybe I'm thinking of a bar in the next place we go to. Well, let's head over here, I guess. Maybe this is where we need to be. You probably can't go to the volcanic island on a ship from Hotoba, but perhaps those guys can. That's all I can say. I don't want to be involved with them. If you're curious, look for an old guy. Hmm. Maybe I am supposed to go to the bar now. Even we can't go in and out of town at the Cape freely. Oh, I don't need to use the smithy, because I've just been there. That's another shop. Probably a shop that sells items for girls. For ladies. Or rather, to give them as gifts. But I don't really have a lot of money to spare at the moment, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Yo. There's a lot of ships and boats in this town. Kind of curious what's up here, so I'm going to go there real quick. Let's see. We've got a lighthouse, and a, a dude. You want to go to the volcanic island? Nobody in Hatoba can help you, but maybe someone from Langoud can. Oops, you didn't hear anything about Langoud from me, okay? Okay, fair enough. Langoud, eh? I guess that's where we're gonna be looking. What we're gonna be looking for? The place near the lighthouse is perfect for a date. There's some beautiful scenery there. The harbor is a good spot too. I'll keep that in mind, although... Hmm. I'll keep that in mind, although I don't really particularly want to go on a date right now, because Sodina's intimacy is already level 5. It's already too high. But I don't feel the need to lower it just yet anyway, either. Remember, I've got some experiments to do to figure out just what's going on with how I was able to learn the Geospell. Well, we've got this big building here. Look closely above the entrance there. It says, you know, it's a... It's like a skull and crossbones symbol, almost, except that they're swords, not... Cr not bones, but, uh... Yeah. Pirates! There be pirates here. I guess I just needed to talk to that one guy. The, the guy who mentioned looking to look for an old man. And now I can probably find the old man at the bar that I was thinking of. Makes sense. So, let's just see. I do like the music in this place. Yeah, there's a dude. There's an old dude. A relic on the volcanic island. A town at the Cape. Ha ha ha, I know them all. But I won't tell you for free. You gotta beat me in a chili drinking contest first. Come on, I'm warning you, don't do it. He just wants to make a fool out of you. Musa, you take care of this. <laughs> Bring it on, baby! Back in Schutz when I was Schutzrin, I was known as the man with the iron stomach. No way am I gonna lose to an old geezer. Epic pointing. Oh man, that that smug kitty face is amazing. And now they're both all red. This is one tough grandpa. Ha <laughs> ha you're not bad, kiddo, but you still got a lot to learn. You're not considered a really chili real chili drinker until your blood starts boiling. They're both breathing fire. 
Oh man, their faces have gotten even redder. Look, the sky is spinning round, around, and around. Bleh, I can't talk. Look, the sky is spinning around and around, and the night has just begun. Oh. Hey, old man, are you okay? Tell me about the town behind the gate before you pass out. <laughs> oh, I'm getting old. Thank God it's the name of the town of the Cape behind that gate. The people there are rumored to be pirates. That's why everyone's afraid of them. If anybody can get to the volcanic island, it's them. They don't trust outsiders, though. Gramps! My man, don't die on me! He's just asleep, Musa. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> don't worry, this happens all the time. He'll eventually wake up and go home. Oh, you light my fire. Have I mentioned that I love this game? Oh, man. Alright, so... Now that we actually know about needing to go to that gate, maybe we can kind of, you know, actually do something there. So we'll just head on back over here, head on down here, and wait, that's not the path. The path is over here. So much backtracking because I wasn't quite sure where I was going. I don't exactly remember this game perfectly. Hey, there's people here now. What do you want? Foreigners don't belong here. Who are you people? I can't let just anybody through. Go back to where you came from. Eh, jerks. Well, now what? What a what to do. You, talk to me. You say the same thing about there being lots of boats and ships. That is not the most useful information, I'm sorry to tell you this. You, talk to me. Yes, I understand. Lighthouse, dating, great places, great location. There's a lot of seagulls flying around here, I guess it makes sense. If I ever find the mysterious warrior who busted my sword, I'll show him a thing or two. The last I heard, he's been running around on the outskirts of town. Be careful. Alright. That's what I was hoping to... That's the bit of... That's the conversation I was hoping to get there. With that said, I think I'm gonna go check out the outskirts of town, and then probably call it a video. Maybe I should call it a video beforehand? Nah, let's go check it out. It's the chicken again! But we gotta go a little farther out of town. Now we're on the outskirts. Wait. I sense something. You sense something? Is it that mysterious warrior? Oh heck, it is. Stop where you are! None shall pass without fighting me! Th this must be that warrior the townspeople were talking about. What should we do, mice? Leave it up to me, Sodina. Hey, you! Is it true that you know about Langoud? Or is it Langood? I think it might be Langood. I can't remember. I can't remember what it's actually pronounced. Oh well. We'll find out. Later. What? That's none of your business! It's your hammer against my sword. If I win, you tell me all you know about Langoud. Yeah, right. Your dull blade is no match for my strength. W what did you say? You haven't even caught a glimpse of my sword yet! Ah! Wait, mice. Let me, the mighty, mighty warrior Musa, handle this. What's up with him? He's so gung-ho. Oh well, I don't care. I'll beat both of you anyway. Wow, that was a good hit. If this was any other sword, it would have snapped in two. Oh well, here goes nothing! 
Twister Blade! Whoops, blew off her cloak. What? Whoops. <laughs> You're not bad. I've actually met someone who can resist my strongest attacks. It's been a long time since I've been this excited. Alright, let's go! Huh? What's wrong? Musa's paralyzed again. What? You can't fight me because I'm a woman? Well, too bad! Yeah! Well, crap. Where'd your confidence go, huh? Guess I was wrong about you after all. <laughs> Game over. Don't even think about challenging me, boy. You're gonna get hurt. Oh yeah? Let's see about that. I'm gonna break your neck instead of your sword, punk. You know, I kinda like you, but you're kinda being a jerk right now. At this point. Also, clothes. You need more of them. I know you had a decent cloak on, but... And it's not really your fault that that got blown away, but... Still, just saying. Ten damage. Not too bad. Let's see how she likes the water dragon. Nice. This time we did 82 damage with that. Oh, whoops, I forgot to guard, and she did 20 damage. Well, she withstood that dragon blast like a champ, but, uh... We'll just see how much longer she can last. She is pretty tough, though. She's actually the toughest enemy we've faced thus far. Just gotta keep at it, though. <laughs> and Sudina will just keep yelling at her. And I will just keep alternating between attacking and guarding, because that's kind of the way to win. You have a lot of HP, you know that? Yeah, wow, so Dina isn't cheering ever, she just keeps yelling. Don't you dodge my attack. Alright, I'm gonna give it one more attack with Mice, and then I think if he doesn't finish her off... Because I might as well, I'm gonna let Sodina get in on the action a bit. Hey, she's even... Uh, our enemy here is defending, so that even gives me a good opportunity to switch characters. All right, so Dina, you take over. Let's see what you can do. Red knife. Let's use her special. As soon as, you know, this girl stops defending. Arrows of light. Bam, whoa, 110 damage. That did more than Mice's summon, holy crap. That was awesome! Wow! Mice is a great spirit blacksmith. Even your power can't break his sword. No thanks, Sodina. Please, give me your sword! What? No! What did you say? I'm Weena, daughter of the Langu Chief. Oh, well then. And that is apparently how you pronounce that. When my old man and I fought, I accidentally broke his favorite sword. He's so angry, I can't go home until I repair it. I know I can't fix it, so I'm trying to replace it. 
I fought anyone who came along to test their swords, but they were all so lame until I met you. Please, I'll do anything in exchange for your sword. Just name it. You can't have my sword. I'm sorry, but I can't give you my sword. I can fix your sword if you want. Well, yes, that. Huh, really? Father's sword, huh? I'll do it. Would you really fix his sword for me? Of course. Sure. I know what it's like having trouble at home, so... That's nice, mice. I'm proud of you. Gee, am I lucky! Mice is a very skilled blacksmith. If you let him do his work, it's possible that it will become a better sword. Let's go then! I will wait for you in front of the gates of Langood. Alright then. Awesome. So we found our way into Langood. And we get to help someone out in the we get to help someone out along the way. Come on, Musa. Oh, well, might as well just drag him. Yeah, we're <laughs> Oh, poor poor Musa. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still just dragging him along for a bit. I, I guess he's gonna be this way for a little while. <laughs> oh, man. In the meantime, while he tries to recover from this... Let's just make this all the more amusing. Let, let's, let's just go to sleep for the night. Come on, Musa, sleep it off. I need to restore... He's actually not in my party right now. Oh my god, it took off- it took 10 GG- Nice! It's time to wake up! It took 10 GG off of the price because he's not in my party right now, that's a- that's amazing. I guess he's gonna be stuck that way for a while. He can't just sleep it off, so, uh, that's a thing, but... <laughs> in any case, I guess we'll, uh, we'll continue with things next time, because this video's been running a bit too long already. I was almost thinking about trying to do a shorter video this time after the- super lengthy last video, but no, this one's kind of long, too. Sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, that's how it pans out sometimes, I guess. Chapter 5, Weena, the Daughter of the Pirate Grapple. That's what we're going to be getting into next time, so I'll see you then. Take care, guys.